Hi, and welcome to another episode of Two Blokes and a Mic. I'm Ramin. I'm your host. And my other buddy, Dan, unfortunately, in this episode, can't be here. He's got stuff to do. So in this episode, we're going to be talking about uh, an interesting thing. I've been, as you can see, I've got a pretty decent microphone. And in many of my Zoom calls since the lockdown, people have made comment about the sound quality of the microphone. And I got to thinking, you know, this might be something. So uh, I reached out to my stepdaughter, Emily, who is a stay-at-home mom and a singer. uh, And she has recently procured a USB condenser mic from the Yeti people. Uh, These are really well-reviewed microphones. They have a fabulous sound quality, easy to set up, easy to use on both Mac and PC. And uh, so I reached out to her and I said, hey, let's do a Zoom call and have you A-B the comparison between you speaking on the mic and speaking on what she used to use, which is a big headset with a mic on it. Um, So watch this. I think you'll find the the content interesting uh, and you should think really about because this Zoom thing is something we're gonna, all going to have to do for a long time to come, you might want to consider spending a little bit of money on a decent mic and make yourself sound good. So, without further ado, here we are. This is my interview with Emily. Enjoy. All right, so you were using the Yeti, right? Yeah, my sweet new red Yeti. Yes, exactly. You want to hold it up to the microphone, to the video camera? Yeah, see, yeah. look at yeah, very so, nice. Very nice. It's and it's so it's sitting roughly. It's sitting on its own stand, roughly mm-hmm. what two feet from you, a foot from you, a foot from me. I think yeah. Yeah, off, and off center, right? Off center, yes. Yeah, and its ability to pick you up is amazing. And then you're this is a connection via USB, right? Yes, it's the the USB cord. Wow, the sound quality is amazing on that. Um, Good. Yeah, it's working so, pretty, I mean, it's working really well for me. So yeah, yeah. So and you said Daniel's been using it for Zoom calls and things like that, right? He has for work. Uh, he he does presentations to his clients via uh, via this Yeti. So. That's great. Yeah, the, the the microphones have gotten really, really good reviews. And I, that's kind of why I wanted to test this with you is see what what the difference in sonic quality and, you know, the the ultimate point of this video would be to see, you know, to demonstrate why you would want to spend a little bit of money if you're doing this on a regular basis for business, uh, Absolutely. that you should want to spend a little bit of money and get yourself a good mic because otherwise you sound like you're coming from the bottom of a tin can. Yep. Um, yeah, no. So this is, uh, have you, have you started? Uh, so, uh, just tell us about your band. Okay. So, uh, my band is a, an Irish rock band. And, uh, since the quarantine started, uh, in mid March, just before St. Patrick's day, which is our biggest weekend of the year, right. we have been stuck at home. We haven't been able to rehearse or anything. So uh, we each recorded a piece of a song remotely and then mixed it all together and released it on YouTube right. just so that we could continue to make music and continue to uh, be in touch with our fans. And it worked pretty well, but I definitely was using this. And I think if I'd had this Yeti at that time, it would have been a lot better. So we'll probably be releasing something else pretty soon. Cool. I'll put, I'll put the link to, the, to, the, to your uh, YouTube channel and, and that video in the, in the show notes. Thank you. Uh, so, yeah, so this is sounding amazing even. Uh, and it, so how often do you, do you use this? I know Daniel uses it all the time. You know, Daniel's her husband. Um, uh, you use this all the time. He uses this all the time. Have you, how much have you used this so far? I have used it a little bit, mostly with Audacity, because I've been experimenting with recording and uh, recording myself and looping my voice and things like that. And I think it's been great. I think it sounds fantastic. Awesome. Awesome. Great. So do you want to quickly switch to the the headset? Yeah. 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 This is the headset that I used the first time I did this. You may want to mute or turn down the volume on on the Yeti. Oh, yeah. see does it automatically all right are you hearing me i am hearing you and the, and the sonic quality just degraded dramatically and there's a hum yeah probably interesting <laughs> interesting so yeah uh, this is you know yes the the headset thing is is good enough but yeah good enough. It, 
with, sure. a li- with a little bit of with a little bit of extra expenditure on a, on a decent mic, you can make yourself sound way way better. Yeah, um, well, and especially if you're recording, especially if you're recording music, like there's there's not it's not the same, not at all. But no. uh, even if you want something that sounds really professional for a business thing, yeah, I'd absolutely go for the microphone over this. Yeah, absolutely. No, the difference is amazing. Um, and then now switch back to the Yeti. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> and of course, there is. Yeah, S. that's good. Yeah, you're back. And of course, there's the the difference with. Uh, being in a, a Zoom call with your boss and having a giant, giant contraption on your head. On your versus, head, yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, so it, it, it does make a huge difference in the, in the way the thing sounds. Uh, and your, it sounds, your, your voice sounds way more natural. It sounds less like it's, you know, coming out of, like I said, the bottom of a tin can. Uh, mm-hmm. And with the, you never know with these uh, headsets, you know, like in your, your particular case, it generated a hum. And okay, that's, there's a grounding issue there, but you know, and but it only happens when you're speaking. When you don't speak, it doesn't hum. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, so it's it's an interesting thing, right? And and every one of these devices is going to have its own little quirk. But the microphones that are designed for recording, and very often these mics are designed really for recording musical artists, and mm-hmm. so the the quality of the capture capability is way higher than uh, the average, you know, thirty dollar thing you get. Uh, from from your local computer store, so you can do gaming or whatever. No, yeah. this is great. Um, so I think we have just proven the point. I think we were going to make is that, that it's worth spending <laughs> the money <laughs> uh, yes. on this device uh, and or something very similar to it, uh, and uh, enhancing the way you appear and sound because this is this Zoom thing is going to be the new normal for. For a the long time. <laughs> the foreseeable future, right? Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. When large, large companies like Twitter and Google and Facebook are telling their people, "Yeah, if you want to stay home, stay home." Right. This is what they're going to do, and it, it's absolutely essential that you sound good. And actually, the thing that that got me thinking about you and this microphone is is that I was on a Zoom call with somebody, and actually two or three people, and like every other sentence, somebody's like, wow, that microphone really sounds good. Wow. That (laughs) really sound good. Wow. I'm like, huh, (laughs) there might be something. It's noticeable then. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. It's, it's clearly noticeable. Uh, and it, uh, it, it, because it sends the full full range of your voice across, Mm -hmm. right? It's not, it's not this, uh, honky sounding nasal, uh, thing. Mm -hmm. And it, it, it's the, the richness of your voice comes across, which is what we expect when we speak to a human being from one human to another. Right. Um, and it, it uh, makes me pay attention more to what you have to say. Mm -hmm. Well, it feels like more of an actual connection, like an actual conversation. Exactly. Exactly. Correct. And I think that that's the thing that's important overall is, is the, since this is going to be our new normal going forward for everybody and his mother, um, I don't know about his mother, a lot of moms don't don't (laughs) like this stuff, but it, you know, for everybody going forward, it, it's essential. You sound that you sound like you, Mm -hmm. right? Um, so very much. That's cool. Thank you very much. I appreciate the time. Uh, I'm happy to help. um, yeah. Uh, so did you want to try and sing something real quickly? Oh, goodness. Uh, <laughs> let's see. Uh, I was trying to think of what to sing earlier. I didn't have all that much in my head. Let's see. What do we got? Though my sails be torn and tattered and the mast be turned about, let the night wind chill me to my very soul. And though the spray might sting my eyes and the stars no light provide, give me just another morning a light to hold. For I will not lie me down, this rain or raging. I will not lie me down in such a storm and if this night be unblessed i shall not take my rest until i reach another shore 